Hi, Virgo. This is your August 2024 reading, Leo season reading. Happy birthday to you August Virgos out there. All information to work with me one-on-one -on -one is below. Um, there's a link tree. My prices are only on Instagram right now, but I will be putting them up in other areas. I will be building a website again. That will all be up within the coming months. Um, but yeah, for now, the prices are there. I'm also going to post them on YouTube. I feel like that's also a good idea. And excuse me, <laughs> new podcast segment is below. It's stuff we've touched upon, but every season correlates to body parts. Um, each sign, each planet that rules that sign. It's something that I've been most interested in. That's what we talk about when more in the extended readings, but it's also things I pull out in the readings in the beginning as well. If you hear me talk about a body part, usually it's associated with a card that's associated with that sign. And <clears throat> I think it's really important, especially considering these are very intuitive. The tower card just really wants to come out. Readings and the body is the intuitive part of you, or the fascia anyway. And yeah, so all information is below. You can email me if you don't find something on the calendar. Um, connect with me. You can also subscribe to the Patreon. Everything is helpful at this time. Thank you for being here. And let's just get right into your reading here for the month ahead. Your first card out is the six of pentacles then we have the world the eight of swords and the tower we talked a lot about a lot last month for the coming months and this one in particular is about how your world is how and like what in your world is shifting there's maybe been a part of both sides of you you maybe have been weighing out or taking a look at what you give, what you receive, what you give that takes your power away. Like where are you giving out of um, a place where it's actually not so good for you and it's actually not good for the other person in return. Where it's also keeping you perhaps too internal, right? Without making any... Um, doing anything for yourself it could keep you like quote unquote even like paralyzed in your mind so coming through this month right into the month it seems is that you you'll have this breakthrough that the world that you're entering needs you to let go of a lot um and the tower moment is also happening so the realization that you have you may be reflecting because the world is looking back at the six of pentacles and you may be wondering, or you may be realizing all the seeds that you've planted, what you've given of yourself, what you can no longer give. Because moving forward, we have the Eight of Swords. That's what is helping you, for those of you wondering, okay, why is it that I, what have I been doing, right? You're finally at a place where you're like, okay, I can finally I have room in my brain, but yet my brain is so stuck, perhaps. This opening to this new world, you may also receive notion of where you've received or been given charity in your life or been taken pity on and where you've also done that in your life as well and you may find that um that energy just for now even is not where you want to go you want to be giving out of generosity no matter what if you're going to be giving of yourself this is also about how giving of yourself overly giving of yourself is causing this moment to happen and it's a big moment for you right we're in this for Virgo Risings, we're in your house of the subconscious. And the way that you move, whether you're a sun or a rising, the way you work in the world is shifting. The tower moment is coming in at a very divine and perfect time for you. This is the day after the full moon. Monday after the full moon, first day officially of Leo season. But for Virgo Risings, Leo is in the 12th house. So something's coming to light that you, your body's been preparing for, you've been waiting for, but you needed um, everything to shift. It's weird because we're in a fixed sign, but you're a mutable sign. Mercury will go into your sign this month um, and then Venus shortly after. 
this is about how you are no longer going to, you know, follow or be a part of something that you don't want to be. That your way of looking at how you want to go about your traditions in life, your values in life. And at this point, you may finally be stating them. If you haven't been like speaking this to the people around you, you may be finally at the point where you're like, okay, I need like something is it's it's provoking you not in a way to antagonize you but it's provoking you in a way where yeah it's a good time to do so it's a good time to say with clarity and also you may be gaining a lot of understanding and that you need this discipline right now you need it for yourself because of what you're being revealed to because of what you're being shown and there's nothing wrong with that that space is important I was just checking for something. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh-huh. Yep, yep. And you're finally at a point with, if you've, we've been talking codependency too, so these are like the remnants of that perhaps and how it has affected each part of your life, where it has caused you to be vulnerable to others instead of yourself in ways that are very important at this time because now you know that you've been choosing this as well and now you can make that change and for some people around you it's gonna feel like oh my god like Virgo what and you're just like yeah but you knew this about like people know this about you but they just don't they just they never see it coming you know if people are smart should i give it away <laughs> for virgo watchers listening if people are smart they would know that you've been already calculating this that your very subtle details in who you are have been shifting for those people who are catching this you know catching the strays but really it's not it's focus right at them um they're not they're only strays because they have also been a part of this with you the people in your life that don't catch that or don't feel some type of way are the people who have not been playing this dynamic with you um especially if it has been a power dynamic especially if it has been a long-term structure and it hasn't been ever really working for you or it does at some points right this is giving you the confidence to move forward. For some of you, you might even find that you're more into a certain philosophy or religion or astrology. You're getting involved in a very communal way of thinking that also has an individual experience, you know, under the guise of what is best for you at this time and how it makes you feel and who and how it affects you and the people around you. But this month is no joke. There's a lot going on. But more importantly, you're calling back your power in a way that is, for some of you, you know, let's get weird. It goes beyond the physical realm. Like whether you believe in past lives or your connections with different people through our ener energy, right? Regardless of who you're, if you past people consciously or subconsciously if you even glance at someone or your energies interact at all it can be lingering so for those of you who haven't been keeping up with your spiritual hygiene virgo this is the month to do it if you're if you're gonna do it ever gonna fucking do it it's gonna be this month but it may also show you how you've been making yourself sick or uncomfortable in ways that are no longer going to work with what your body and your mind need moving forward because your mind has needed a lot of rest your mind has been put through a lot you have there have been consequences to your choices because you almost you don't want to say it out loud but you almost like hate or 
don't like yourself for making certain decisions or being a certain person when you finally get to reel it back you get to love yourself but that makes you look very different to some people around you however if people again have been watching you have been already unraveling all of this you have been but it doesn't matter because regardless you're going to see something very clearly for some of you it's really just begun become a moment of clarity where you realize that you've been just giving yourself away and the tower moment's like, okay, no more. This can't keep happening. If you want to continue in life and feel alive, confidently move on from any subconscious beliefs, beliefs you've been given a long time ago. The, the Pluto square, I have a note here, comes on the day of the full moon in Aquarius. So it seems like the full moon is not what, it's the day of, it's more of the square. Oh, it's a Saturn square, my, my bad. But there's also some other things going on with Pluto this month. Regardless, this is something that you've needed to get off your chest, that you've needed to say, that you need to do just for yourself. You know when, you know, when you have those moments where you just... I find it like it's very clear to me and maybe you've been gathering data for a while or you're just taking enough shit and you've finally seen the truth and you just need to let it out and people around you are probably like, that's not a good idea. Like, you've never shown me this part of you. However, that is not always a good idea. But if you have been showing yourself, right? So to other people, it's going to be like, where did this come from? You'd be like, I've been giving you all of the incentive all of the clarity all of i've been saying that you just don't want to see it you just don't want to accept it right you're not just doing this out of nowhere it's gonna feel like it to other people but this may be where your worth has been off and <laughs> again it's not like you're never gonna give to people you're never gonna do whatever all the things you like to do it's about pulling back noticing how you feel notice how that can even make you uncomfortable inside but it's actually clearing a lot of confusion a lot of doubt a lot of self criticism and now you get to move forward in a way that's very clear it's not coming from an addictive tendency it's not coming from codependency if that makes sense to you it's not coming from lack it's coming from no this is just what the fuck i need this is what my like i'm not going to keep going in this way of life i don't care if everything has to change at this point virgo moons you've already been up on this you totally understand you also get a lot of signs and indications that the road of head is clear um in between mercury moving into your sign until <coughs> excuse me i was trying to hold back cough <coughs> Mercury re retrograde. <coughs> you have a clear straight shot to build up whatever part of you needs <laughs> some building. I'm sorry, this is some water. Whatever you're building, whatever, wherever you need to add value, <coughs> sorry, <coughs> <coughs> within yourself. Mm -hmm. I guess it is the full moon. The moon, but also Saturn square. Saturn's in Pisces. Um, that will be after Mercury is retrograde in Leo. It'll be a few days after this moon ha is when this moon happens. So up until that point, up until this moon in the square which is the Saturn being right across from you at this time, you almost feel like, I think this is what this part is too, is like you may have been feeling like, not the sense of being watched, but the sense of being looked over. And there might looked over upon, and there might be people who are watching your every move at this point because they're all of a sudden throughout the month, you're just, you've just adjusted something has been adjusted within you and i think it causes some it causes you to understand it causes you to feel yourself even deeper to understand that 
this doesn't look like a very straightforward path that's asking you who you are here who you are now and who you want to take how you want to take this forward with you taking a look at what fulfillment means to you you know where in your life can you speak in a way that makes sense for you not in a way where you're always wondering if other people are going to understand your art right now is of yourself and you may have a very clear idea after that what becomes apparent to you is that wherever you're feeling the more that you put into yourself will also show you where you've been feeling lack where you've been feeling less what may have stemmed from a long time ago something you didn't even put there yourself something that you find association with fulfillment and family or what that has meant to you and you may have processed up until a certain point, but now you're seeing very clearly how that has impacted your sense of self, your sense of self-worth, what that looks like, how that's changing with this change that you're going through, what that will continue to look like moving forward, how you feel about your sense of self and what fulfillment really is what that really looks like and not only what it looks like but wanting to take the actual steps or planning them out throughout the course of the month um because if you put too much pressure pressure on yourself to get started first you won't realize that you already have but second you have to let things naturally progress you don't have to but like forcing any situation is not good the resistance is different you know, if you're feeling the constant pressure to do something and then you just do it, there's a re there's a resistance you and you feel better after. If you're feeling a constant pressure to do something and you sit down and do it and it just isn't, it just, it's not nothing, it's just not happening, nothing's, then that's the pressure. That's, the, that's a little bit of a difference in my opinion. So notice that. Because by the time the full moon comes, you'll understand and have a lot more in-depth look at and clear clear and the clarity of it that the friction brings is where someone else's idea of fulfillment overpowered yours of desire of this long-term life and now you can see very clearly what yours is and understand how that fits better with if you're in partnership or um, whatever relationships you're in, how that becomes whatever resistance to moving forward or the deepening of the commitment or actually taking action steps, even just making a plan for yourself will start to dissolve because you finally are just like did the hard thing and thought about this. And the reason why it's hard is because you just have no practice with it. There are certain things that you know how we talk about and like not to just be gender nor normative but women have a lot of most women and you know virgo men understand this so i'm gonna talk to you about it because virgo is the only feminine sign fully feminine symbol of the signs is virgo and it's not just because it's the virgin the healer but you're also earth which is feminine right so there's it's just extremely feminine so you're used to talking things out, right? You're used to being able to, this, for, this is for the men and the women. However, because you're so used to it, but not everyone <laughs> is, you're now learning something to even up-level your ability to communicate with yourself, with life around you. You don't think you're, and then you'll see how during the retrograde process, you can take a reflection, you can take a beat. Maybe that's when you start to get into things because it doesn't feel as hard for some of you. But I would just be very careful with your hands. I would be very careful with your feet this month. I would be extra, extra aware of yourself to the best of your ability. Even if, um, especially if you are a multitasker or you do a lot or you're always rushing, this is a great time to not do that with yourself, especially with your 
phalanges or your extra extremities. And the way I do believe you can find more grounding is to speak up. There are areas in your life where you're not saying and being as direct as you can be. And then in turn, you could be so direct with other things, if you know what I'm saying. So this is a time to kind of make that switch, no matter how uncomfortable you may feel, because in the long run, it's going to continue to perpetuate, perpetual motion. <laughs> it's gonna keep perpetuating and it'll keep going and going and going and going and going and people may need your help this month and next month and everyone's gonna need you next month and so if you can disappear for a little while into yourself this month and come out clearer or and say what you need to say because people can take it people will take it differently at this time too which is why i feel like this is coming out or if, this, if it needs to come out it might as well this month because the power that you're holding at this time needs some rooting. We can feel and, and be a part of this powerful understanding that our human existence is so fragile. It's so fragile, it's so mysterious and even you, the one who understands, the one who knows, the one who sees the insights, still, we don't really know, right? And I think more than ever, this is a time, and what I'm sensing and from the astrology, this is a time where even if you feel like you know, you really don't. And you don't need to be using any senses to look ahead because everything that's happening that you need to know for your future is happening right now. It always is, but right now, the present moment needs you. Whatever is healing, whatever is dissolving, especially emotionally, that's come from your past, especially if your past has, you know, negative religious ties or philosophical ties or just traditional ways that just don't add up to you anymore but you still want to be a part of something and you don't want to leave behind everything, it's okay that you take time to be a part, to assess yourself, and to reimagine what that can look like moving forward in your individual life, your personal life, how that matters more as opposed to the other. Whatever losses you've experienced, you're going to have a lot of spiritual insight. This is a very spiritual time. We are going to be getting into all the spiritual and how that also affects you monetarily. You will now see and connect. This is, I think this is like even the best part. You'll be able to connect um, the signs that you're getting and every how life and the universe is talking to you to the missing pieces. And... We feel it for other people too and that's why it's important to keep it close um you'll see who's willing to accept these shifts right away and who others may need some time or may not ever really be present in your life as much again perhaps your day-to-day -day, your personal intimate relationships you know those are going to change too it's everyone is going to become aware of what you're shifting into and you may not want it to be that way but you need it to be that way and you need to stand your ground it needs to take roots and therefore your emotion even more of what you need to digest will then be able to process and you'll see even clearer these very important desires that are needing acknowledgement and time to grow because you've maybe been trying to grow something that wasn't yours perhaps for a while and letting that go will give a lot of room and a whole way of, of coming in to what you're supposed to come into because it pushes everything away and if everything gets washed away with ease right that's a key too 
noticing how you feel and then noticing the washing away of it all. All right. We so much more to get into. I'm so excited to do the rest, but more than more than anything, finding your spiritual hygiene, noticing how that makes you feel, how that in, how has you how that has you interact with physical material world money your value your worth and what you're learning and processing once your brain relaxes a little bit more do your best Virgo look into yoga nidra or just say it to yourself if you can um it's a pleasure we'll see you next month happiest birthdays all information is below let's work together I love you